Brothers and sisters, Brother John, Watchman for that great day. And I told you I had a video coming, and it just with all the things that were happening yesterday with me being hacked and all that and running around and you know, changing passwords and making things right and calling up the PayPal and you know getting everything right there. Um, so you're, you're, you're still able to send money to me through the normal channels uh, by PayPal if you desire so and I certainly can use anyone that can help me at this point I would certainly appreciate it um, it's funny that that came out that hack came out just at the time I was uh, you know thinking about should I ask or should I even put it out there for the brethren but uh, I am in need so I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that now I have this video that should bless you and um, here we go Give me a moment just to set everything in its place. Okay. All right, here we go. So, it has to do with the word snare. All right. A couple of things I was trying to do last week in a study that I kind of just was into, having to do with Ezekiel chapter 9. And I just kind of, it's still in the background. I'm still kind of working on that. But um, most importantly is what God gave me. And this is very interesting, uh, uh, a very interesting study, but it's going to be a blessing. And so hold on and be blessed because this is going to bless you. So the word snare in our Bibles occurs 46 times and it's in 44 verses in the King James. 44 verses. Now, you know, 44 is the number of judgment. So, for as a judgment against the heathen, here we go, Psalms 69, this is not all the 44, I'm not going to do all of them, but I've picked some of them as I went down the list and that were, that were relative to where this study is going, and I believe it was the Holy Spirit that, that brought me to this point. So, Psalm 69, 22, let their table, their table, become a snare before them and that which should have been for their welfare let it become a trap isn't that what the world is looking at concerning this vaccine brothers and sisters so what is considered to be for their welfare is actually becoming a trap do you get that very very interesting psalm 91 3 Surely he, our God, shall deliver thee from the snare. Now there's a promise. Surely he, our God, shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, the, uh, and, from the, and from the noisome pestilence, which is a plague. Now the fowler is H3353, and it's a trapper, bait layer, and even the root, H3369, states, to lure, entice, snare, lay a snare, or lure, set a trap. So, this is what's going on with this, this plague, basically, the COVID-19 and, and what's happening in the world with what they want to bring about, which is the vaccine. So, this is what our Father will do, no doubt about it. He's going to, he's going to release us or deliver us from the snare of the fowler, all right? The bait layer, the trapper, the lure in which is happening over this whole earth right now. So, no doubt about it. Psalm 124, 7. Our soul, brothers and sisters, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler's trap. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Notice we are escaped like a bird, right? It says um, that we're escaped out of a, tr out of a the snare is broken and we are escaped. Then it says in, a, in Ecclesiastes 9.12 For man, listen to this one, for man also knoweth not his time. 
Um, but, okay, hold on. It's messed up here. For man also knoweth not his time. I'll read the whole Ecclesiastes first, and then I'll go back and... and so man also... For man also knoweth not his time. You gotta go down a little bit. Uh, his time. As the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare. So the sons of men are so are the sons of men snared in an evil time when it falleth suddenly upon them now it's funny because what did Jesus say in Matthew 24 42 through 44 he said for us to watch and says watch therefore for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come but the bride, <laughs> but the bride's expecting him, are we not? Around this time, just around this time, are we expecting him? We surely are. Those, those who are considering being part of the bride who are, who have it in their heart and are looking up and are waiting, just like all of you out there that will watch my videos, the bride is expecting him around this time now. Amen? So, what does Jesus say? Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. And in verse 43 it says, But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Well, the thief is all around this world. The darkness is all around us. The thief, the, the, the Satan, all right? Satan is the thief. He looks to kill, steal, and destroy, right? And what does God offer? What does our Lord Jesus offer? Eternal life, joy, peace, happiness, right? Separation from the kill, steal, and destroy, right? Protection from the kill, steal, and destroy. So when we're near the Christ, when, we're, when our heart is, is with God, and our treasure is in the heavenly place where we desire to be, then he is close, he is near. So therefore, be ye also ready, for in such an hour as you think not, the Son of Man cometh. Again, Ecclesiastes 9, 12. For man also knoweth not his time, as the fishes that are taken in an evil net, and as the birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in an evil time, when it falleth suddenly upon them. Is this time, is this time we are living in, is this time we're living in an evil time? It surely is. Remember, sudden destruction comes without warning. And remember in 1 Thessalonians 5.3, it talks about that. For when they, right, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, them, as travail upon a woman with child. And they shall not escape. Isaiah 24, 17 says, Fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O, habit, o inhabitant of the earth. So fear, which is what the, the world is being moved by right now, brothers and sisters, and the pit and the snare are upon the inhabitants of the earth. Luke 21, 35 says, for as a snare shall it come upon all them, right? This fear, okay? I just, I just got done reading it in Isaiah 24, 17. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon thee, O inhabitant of the earth. Luke 21, 35 says, For as the snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Right? The fear. This is how the world is being moved today because of fear, false evidence appearing real. All right, um, this is the way they they are playing the masses by fear. This is the way they are moving the masses by fear. We should not be fearing. We our faith is strong in Christ, and and His promises are yea and amen. His promises are true, every one of them, and we're all heading to that place 
that he's prepared if we're part of the bride all right it's not too late to repent and ask Jesus Christ to be your Savior it's never too late until that day comes where the disappearance or the rapture happens or whatever or the event or whatever you want to call the thing that's about to happen which us that are watching are realizing that it's very real right now very real um, so Luke 21 35 for as a snare it shall come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth Revelation 310 is written in red because it's the words of Jesus all right we have to trust in the Lord with all our heart who is the Lord our Lord Jesus so and it is his promise to his bride and it's not just Revelation 10 through 12 all of the promises are all throughout the Gospels and the Bible and his whole word but the only thing is when you read this when you read this Revelation 3 10 through 12 do you believe it or not that's the question do you believe Revelation 3 12 I'm gonna read it because thou has kept the word which is logos what the Lord has spoken this is his the word the spoken word of my patience and the word patience in the in the uh, Greek is enduring and it's characteristic of a man who is not swerved from his deliberate purpose and it, it it's you know what our purpose is our purpose is to serve the Lord Jesus to do what we can to bring in any others that are that are lost all right to bring in the lost it's not our job to save them but it is our job it is our our process as we live in this in this body and that you know for the Lord that uh, the ultimate thing is to get people understanding and aware that they need Jesus Christ to escape what is coming upon the whole earth and it's already upon the earth brothers and sisters all of this that we're going to talk about in a moment so it says I also will keep thee those that keep pushing forward toward the prize no one's perfect but we got to keep pushing po forward towards that prize towards the mark you know not the mark of the beast but the 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 place that we want to be with the Lord and so I will also keep thee from the word ek is out of that's important the hour of temptation and I've told you this before in other videos it should be out generally in all other videos as I say this when it comes to the word temptation if you look it up it is called in the biblical outline of biblical the outline of biblical usage is an experiment the very first thing you come to in the blue letter Bible after you see temptation and and uh, uh, you know tempting and trying it's an experiment an attempt a trial a proving well that's what all this is with this COVID thing and with the vaccine they're saying there's two companies drug companies pharma Micaiah pharma pharmaceutical companies that have Pfizer and uh, Moderna that have made these vaccines now I'm not saying either way if these are the actual uh, uh, DNA changing but for sure something's going on and I'm not taking the vaccine no matter what okay no matter what that's I've always de I determined in my mind in my heart that that I'm just not going to take it okay that's that's just it so with this experiment which is happening now which is about to be the attempt or the trial or proving of the experiment which shall come and does it say which might come no Jesus said it shall come the question we must ask and be aware of is is this COVID-19 the snare or trap that is come and as the rest of the verse says upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth so brothers and sisters it would surely seem yeah it would surely seem so so Revelation 311 Jesus tells us behold I come quickly when does he come quickly do you guys know would it you know he said this back in 95 AD to John on the island of Patmos when is he what does that mean when does Jesus come quickly 
Well, I would say, I would have to say, he just told us in the previous verse, at the time of an experiment. Do you see how important that word is? The experiment, the, tri uh, the trial, the proving, an attempt. At the time of an attempt, maybe a trial, attempting a trial, or attempting a, 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 a proving. All right, so they're trying to prove that this uh, vaccine is 95% safe and all that by their uh, a certain amount of people that have already taken it. So they're trying to get approval from the FDA, which will be December 8th to the 10th, and we'll see what happens after that because they've said that 24 to 48 hours after that. So we're looking at a timeline here that I'm not saying the rapture will happen on that particular day or time, but when the FDA brings it, after they approve it for emergency use, remember it's emergency use uh, uh, authorization, all right? Uh, because it's supposedly been so quickly bought, all right? But my, my opinion, they've had this, this vaccine for many years. It's already been uh, in, refriger in refrigerators for a long time. And they have it pretty much all for the people they want to give it to. <laughs> And there's enough for everybody, but they don't want to bring it all out at once. Don't scare the sheep, you know, just make it. And remember, when you have the, a little bit of something, it becomes more, uh, uh, you know, people want it more, right? There's only a little bit. Oh, I better get mine, see? So it, it's that way. It leads to that. So it's just, so the question we must ask and be aware of is, is this COVID-19 the snare or trap? that is come and as the rest of the verse says upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth so brothers and sisters i would say surely it seems for for real yeah all right so we'll go back to this 311 again i know i just read that twice i'm sorry but jesus tells us behold i come quickly when does he come and i just shared that with you at the time of an experiment Continuing on in Revelation 3.11, Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. And here, in uh, Revelation 3.12, here's another promise from Jesus again. And this will finish off the video. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. And he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, hallelujah, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him a new name. Now how, is, how awesome is that? Is that just amazing to you? He's gonna write upon us a new name in our hearts on a stone. And you know, we're, we're supposed to receive a stone that only he and I and, and you and him know, right? So. So now the question remains, do you believe these words, brothers and sisters? Because these are some amazing words. First, that he's gonna, he's gonna make us a pillar, uh, that it's gonna come, he's gonna come quickly at the time of an experiment, or the, or the you know, he's gonna keep us from, out of, out of the hour. You see what I'm saying here? We're kept from that hour of trial, of, tri of, uh, of experiment, of proving. Do you see that? That this seems like a key a key. It just seems like a key. That's all I can say. <laughs> the key to when is he coming quickly? I would say at the time of the experiment. And it's about to be unfolding. They've been experimenting or whatever, supposedly working on the vaccine for this, you know, almost a year now, whatever, that's what they're saying. But here we are, maybe less than a year later, and they have it 95%. They're already ready to give it out. So what is what is actually happening here is an experiment. And it's the only way I, I, I did the video some time ago, maybe two, three months ago, as far as I can remember. Could have been three, four weeks ago. It could have been you know sooner than that. But at any rate, I did that word connection with the experiment, and it's been with me ever since. Once you see something, you cannot unsee it. So, so is the, so here we go, I went a little further. So do you believe these words? Is this in your heart? 
That's the question you got to ask. Is Are these words in my heart, do I believe what this is saying? Because it's hard to believe. What we're seeing now is it's just hard to believe that this is where we are. None of us thought we'd be at the point of, of this. This is like we're seeing the true, the real tribulation, right? Right? Forming in reality. What's going to cause the tribulation is people not wanting to receive it, you know, staying back. The government's going to have to make moves and try to, you know, get as many people vaccinated as possible. All right? And so, do you think, another question, that this is it? That's the question I ask you. Do you think this is it? That the COVID-19 is the trap? The snare that has come upon all those that are dwelling upon the earth? Yes, and it's basically coming upon all us, but the vaccine is yet to come out, you see? So it hasn't quite come. The hour of the experiment, the hour that we're supposed to be removed from, which is my great hope, okay, great hope, and according to Bill Gates Foundation, we'll have to be ID'd. So once you take the vaccine, you're not just going to go out, go in and get your vaccine and then walk around and, you know, I got the vaccine without any kind of uh, knowledge that you took that. There's ha there has to be, you know, you're going to get something. You're going to get a, an ID bracelet maybe, or you're going to get a, uh, uh, what is it called? The, the patch, right? The thing with the Lucifer race. There's got to be something that they know that people will be able to scan or or do something with once these people took it you see but at any rate they're in the system once they take it they're they're now uh and it's supposed to be double dose so you're supposed to take the first one then 21 days later another dose so i don't know all right and and i don't know what's going to happen in that 21 days and if we'll be here for it or whatever but it's just interesting that if it happens you know, I just, I got to give it the thought here. Let me just do a quick, quick calculation just to see. Let me do the calculation like I always do. I never can, I always do this. So if the vaccine comes out, we'll say, you know, where it's FDA approved and it's being delivered, let's say December 11. Let's just say December 11. Let's say, let's say December 10. All right, December 10, because that's the day. It's a two-day thing process where the FDA is going to approve it. It's it's before the FDA for emergency use or uh, authorization from the 8th to the 10th. So any time. It could actually be the 8th. It could be the evening of the 8th. It could be the 9th, the 10th. But let's just go from the 10th, right, 2020, and we'll add, what, 21 days, right? Just we'll see what the heck that works out to be. Where does 21 days bring us? Uh, gotta type it in. Twenty-one, interesting. Twenty-one zero America just popped into my mind from Sister Gigi. Twenty-one days later, after December twelve, uh, December the tenth, saying that it was approved on that is December thirty-first. Wow, it puts you right at the very end of December. New Year's Eve, brothers and sisters. New Year's Eve. That also goes along with a lot of. Uh, other visions and thoughts and uh, dreams that have come about in the past where people saw Christmas tree lights and they saw people in the grand uh, in the you know in the city you know with the New Year's Eve festivities and all of a sudden the lights go out and everyone's missing just saying so who knows I don't I don't know I'm not sitting here telling you I know that the rapture is going to happen on December 31st I'm past that now but the thing that I'm trying to point you to, and it's going to bring, and it should bring the utmost of hope in your heart and build your faith, all right? Because this is not something that we should be afraid of, okay? This is something that is making it all too real. So, is this, this is, you know, is this the trap? snare that that has come upon all those that are dwelling upon the earth I would have to say yeah and the ID you know the ID thing so they know who's taken the vaccine and who is not this is all too close to the mark of the beast and I must tell you this disclaimer all right all the way to the end of the video got to give you a disclaimer I should have probably said it in the beginning but I'm saying it now okay so anybody that doesn't watch the whole video they're gonna miss what I say so I am not saying that this vaccine, this particular 
release of the vaccine is the mark of the beast. All right, but it if 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 it is uh, the first step towards it, it's still a step, brothers and sisters. It's still something that's leading to the mark of the beast, whether it is or whether it's the first step. It's it's entering into that process. All right, all right. So. How quickly will the next steps unfold? See, that's another thing. Take the first step. Is it going to be 21 days? And then the, then they'll, maybe they won't uh, uh, mark you on the, the hand until the second dose. Perhaps that's the way it's going to work. Okay? The, the bottom line is not to take that. All right? That, and I know that's, I can't tell you uh, medically not to take it. All right? But I can surely warn you because it looks all too close to what is going to be the mark, right? Mark of the beast. So how quickly will the next step unfold? As for those who will refuse to take any vaccine. These are questions that put us all in the place of being aware that our Lord Jesus is coming quickly. Do you see that? Do you get the, the connection here? And with seeing these things, makes what we watchmen are saying now all the more real. All right? This is real. It's not a book. It's a holy book. These words are living words. These words are beyond what man uh, can just write, okay? It's not just a novel. This is, an, this is a, a living, a living Bible. It lives. The words in this were people's lives that lived, that were moved, great men, moved by the Spirit of God to give their utterances by the Spirit. That's exactly what I'm doing here on this video. I'm giving utterance because I'm moved by what I see, okay, by what's going on in the world. We're all too familiar with it. It's been a hard year. But the times that we're looking at are so real and it's, it comes to the point where, behold, I come quickly. That's where we're at, brothers and sisters. So I hope, you're I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I always tell you this, and I'm from my heart, okay? My heart of hearts within me. I'm just a flesh, flesh and be body and flesh, all right? I'm just a man. But inside this man lives the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit lives within me. I take that very seriously. Now, I can fall short in many ways as a man, and you can fall short in many ways as men and women. But ultimately, if your cause is deliberate to go with Jesus, to be with him, where your heart is, where your treasure is, there will your heart, where your treasure is, there will your heart be. So my heart is to be in the place that he has prepared for us. John 14, Jesus said, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you this. Okay? He told us there's a place with many mansions and, you know, many could be hundreds or thousands or millions or billions. We don't know. But those mansions could just be the essence of our new body, could just be the new bodies that we receive when we enter in. And brothers and sisters, there is no flesh and blood that can see the kingdom of God. This flesh and blood is corrupted. Realize that. And as corruptible flesh, right, as this flesh is corrupted from the beginning, from sin, all right, sin, past, present, and future, it's corrupted. But the soul and the spirit, the spirit is now, the, our spirit is being guided by the Holy Spirit, all right, if we we'll listen. If we listen to the spirit, if we, if we hear the spirit knocking today, it says, harden not your heart. And how many times do we harden our heart when we hear the Spirit knocking, oh, I got to go do something or whatever, all right? That's, 
That's the corruptible battle. That's the man. That's the man. All right. That's the woman. That's the flesh. Right. But when we truly listen to the Spirit, when we're reading in the in the Word and we're getting tingles and hairs raising up on our head, I don't have much hair, but when it, when we get that feeling, all right, and it's not always about feelings, but there are times when you're reading and you're in the Spirit, God is directing your your way. You have a purpose. You have a drive. You have a a place that you're heading. There is nothing in that moment that can. I don't care. The phone rings. Whatever things can fall. You know, all of a sudden you're getting attacked. Whatever. But you know what? You always find your 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 you have peace. Just reach for that. It's right there. It's always with you. Peace from our Lord in the midst of the storm. His peace. So today I ask a special blessing on all of you watching this video that you would receive the peace of God at this time and we need it so much more now than we've ever needed it. We need the peace of God. We need to trust the Lord Jesus looking to him who is the author and finisher of our faith. And we're about home brothers and sisters. We're about there. He is definitely at the door. Jesus is at the door. Just say it. Is he at the door? Uh, uh, figuratively, sure. Is he at the door? Literally, I would say, okay, my opinion is yes. Literally, he's at the door. What door? The door to your heart. Open your heart. Open your heart. As brothers and sisters, open your heart. Brothers and sisters, believers in Christ, open your heart. All right? Jesus is about to come. Are you ready? Open your heart. Open your ears. Listen. He's about to come. Is he going to come right now? Today? Tomorrow? The next day? I don't know. I just know he is coming. And quickly. And all I'm using to, to understand the closeness of the, the, the time of the season, of the hour that is now upon us, upon the whole world, is this vaccine thing? Is this COVID uh, vaccine virus, whatever they want to call it? All right, but it's upon the whole world. You can't take that away from it. The whole world, not just the United States, not just Canada, not just Mexico, the whole world. So is he coming quickly? I would say the experiment is about to begin. So perhaps that's what I'll name this video. Man, the Spirit of God was on me today to bring this message to you. He loves me so dearly, and I am nothing more than a wretch, all right? Told my wife this morning I'm a failure at pretty much everything I've ever done. But here's the thing. I'm not a failure when it comes to believing in Jesus Christ as my Savior. I'm not a failure when it comes to Jesus seeing me as holy because of what he did, not because of anything that I've done, but because of what he did on the cross. And today, if you hear his voice, maybe listening to this video, and you need to come into a peace in your, in your life, ask him into your heart. Open that heart up, brothers and sisters, and friends. If there's people watching this, brothers and sisters, you can recommit as easily as I can. You know, we sometimes... Uh, are drawn astray. We are sometimes brought out of the way by the evil one and by our own thoughts of the flesh and desires. But bottom line is, no man is perfect and all, all, all have sinned and fall short and come short of the glory of God. So today, easily ask, acknowledge his, that Jesus died on the cross for those that are not saved even those that are saved, you can acknowledge Jesus died on the cross just for you. He rose on the third day. And all that call on his name, believing on him and believing he rose from the dead, will and shall, and not maybe, but will be saved. That takes your faith. That is your faith. That's where your faith. Place your faith in Christ Jesus don't place your faith in the things of the vaccine of the you know the the moderna or the the pfizers of this world okay god has a plan 
and he's got a good plan. So place your faith in him, and he'll give you what? Not a vaccine. He'll give you peace that passes understanding. He'll give you the love that you need through others. All right? Sometimes we reach out in our, in our flesh. We shouldn't do that, but we do. We reach out in our flesh. We ask others to give us love. But God is the true lover of our, of our being, of our soul. Who can love us more dearly than our Lord Jesus? No one. No man, no woman, nothing. Not in this world. Only Jesus Christ can give you the love that you're looking for. So come, come to him. Open the door to your heart. Let him come into your heart and change your life because that's what this is all about. This is the last moments, the last days. You don't even have to believe that. You might not believe it's the last moments and the last days. You might think we got until 2030 or something like that. You might think you know, you're a young person. You might think you've got 50 years. Okay. Bottom line is everything taking place today is on a schedule it's it's in the UN it's all around us in the culture AI the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation everything has a timeline and a schedule for things to happen and now that we're dealing with this thing worldwide it's happening so brothers and sisters I'm just gonna blow the shofar for you guys if you have your earbuds in take them out because you know it's loud and put a little anointing oil on the lips. I got to do that. Helps me to helps me to do to get the, the shofar to blow a good a good sound. So be blessed by this, brothers and sisters. And I look forward to your comments, all right? Your comments are near and dear to my heart. And sometimes please don't leave I've seen some comments that are so long I can't get to those and I won't heart them. I, I won't, you know, comment on them. But the, the better ones are, you know, few, few parag you know, a paragraph or something or someone's video, or whatever. Okay, you can do that. I'm not going to be putting my email necessarily in my uh, about box, but you know, it's, you know, you can you can find me uh, if you've sent money before through PayPal, or I will put my uh, PO box or uh, my my mailbox. All right, my address. All right. I'll put that in there. So for now, because of the hack, you know, so I'm still working through that. So be blessed. Enjoy the sound of the vibration, the frequency that we could very well hear any moment of any day now. So here it comes. <laughs> in your lips or whatever it's still tough but uh, a blessing to all of you for watching and um, God bless you all brother John watchman for that great day see you soon one way or the other we're going up keep watch keep your eyes on the skies and watch what's going on in the world be aware love you all brother John watchman for that great day out